Good evening, and thank you for inviting me to share my story. When I tell you my story, I'm sure most of you will say that I'm the last person who would expect this to happen to. I'm the person you would see at shul, would host you for a Shabbat meal, or would invite, would invite you and your kids over for a play date. No one would ever imagine that I would be here. I come from a very privileged background, and yet my life was far from perfect. While I had the most beautiful childhood and upbringing, my story that I share with you today begins 10 years ago. I was married and anyone who knew us from the outside thought we were the perfect family. We lived a life of luxury. We had beautiful kids, we had it all. But what people didn't see was the instability in our home, the unpredictable burst of anger, the throwing things, breaking things, threats to hurt my children. When my husband would throw things and shatter them, he would point at me and tell me that I will be next, the next to be smashed against the wall and break. These were the things that I dealt with on a daily basis. These moments were unpredictable. For 10 years, I lived a very difficult life and I did everything that I could do to compensate for it. We were very popular and were also very involved in the community. We had guests often as a distraction. I tried to never spend a weekend with just our family, always trying to bring happiness and people into our lives. But when all these people left, what I was left with was my reality and nobody to save me from it. Although my husband would sometimes, not often, admit and regret, regret his anger outbursts, he refused to get the help necessary. The explosions and the anger got worse over the years. My husband would threaten that he would kidnap the kids, that I would wake up in the morning and they would be gone, that he would hurt me and that he would hurt my family, that he was going to kill me. The kids now were a bit older. I realized that I could no longer protect my kids' experience or the father's behavior especially as the behavior was worsening by the day. I knew that I couldn't live like that anymore. I knew that I finally had to leave everything that I worked so hard to create for our family to make perfect. I knew that I had to protect my children and that I had to protect myself. I left my beautiful apartment with my three young children in a few bands. I left everything else behind. And when we arrived at the shelter, I was very nervous of what I was going to see. But... I immediately saw lots of grass, green, trees, places for the kids to run around. I was shocked by the beauty of the place. I didn't know how long I was going to be here or even what the next day will bring, but I felt that for the time being, this was a good place for us. I knew that my kids were going to be happy and safe. I also quickly learned that the most amazing people that I will meet in my life are here. The staff were amazing and accepting and friendly and welcoming. People came towards us with open arms. They took us with everything they had, with warmth and with open hearts. And the women here are truly there for each other. There was an immediately a feeling of giving and sharing and being part of the community that's there for us to grow and to go through a journey together. And I'm so grateful for the women who share this journey with me. I'm presently resident in the Emuna shelter, and I'm speaking to you tonight because I'm so grateful for what Emuna gave me. This is the beginning of my giving back. I hope that I can help Emuna grow this program so that we can provide more help for mothers and their kids. Each mother here is coming with their own baggage and with their own challenges from different circumstances. And it's not easy for anyone. I'm also hoping for more organized classes and therapeutic programs for the kids, anything that could help them grow and experience this time in the best way possible. My family didn't have many choices when we left our home and I feel incredibly fortunate that we made it here. Even though I have a very supportive family behind me, the threats from my ex-husband were also against them. And so coming here is really something that I'm very, very grateful for. The women's shelter continues to help me. I'm still here and I'm going through a journey with other women, with amazing staff. And I think that from here, I can only grow. I couldn't have done it without this place. On behalf of all the women and children at Emuna's shelter, I want to thank each and every one of you for your part in making a place like this possible. With your help, we have a safe place to live, professional support, and help to begin to build a new safe life. For that, I am forever grateful. Thank you.